the doctor put him in my hand and I raised him to God and said, Lord, I know he's destined to be a LSU Tiger. Dwayne and Mary Sue are the parents of LSU linebacker Patrick Queen, and they call their son the Miracle Child. The Queens already had three daughters, but Dwayne never got his son, and it took him nearly a decade to finally have his boy. <laughs> yeah, Patrick just made 20 in August, and the youngest daughter is 30. Dwayne has trained Patrick in nearly every sport since the age of five. But their neighbors weren't the biggest fans of Dwayne's regimen. They would call me and they would be like, oh my God, he's gonna kill him. I'd come home and I'd be like, that's enough, you know? <laughs> You're doing too much. And Regardless though, Patrick became a multi-sport athlete and his skills in baseball rival his abilities in football. Oh, Patrick! Oh, oh, you know, yeah, he hit the ball over the fence and we had people to walk up to and say, man, I've never seen a kid at eight hitting the ball that far over the fence. It was so common that people started saying, well, he's got to be too old because no kid that age can hit the ball that far over the fence. So we had to bring a birth certificate <laughs> to prove his age. And once they saw the birth certificate, they said, there's no way this got to be fake. This kid is younger than everybody else out here. This, this, it can't be true. Queen's baseball talents carried over into high school, and his football coach quickly noticed the athlete Queen is. Uh, he gave, he went through the whole lineup with me of uh, returning starters, but then he told me possibly the best athlete in the school was a freshman named Patrick Queen. Kind of caught me off guard. A week later, I saw him play baseball, and I said, holy smokes. Speed benefited the former Wildcat, playing both running back and linebacker and it was rare to see him on the sidelines during his senior season. From the start, we all figured his future was on the defensive side of the ball. That said, he was so important to us and he was such a special running back, that's where we needed him. His junior year, we played him a little bit on the defensive side, knowing that, you know, we, we had to prepare him somewhat. And then his senior year, you just couldn't get him off the field. He had 1,500 yards rushing and over 70 tackles on the other side of the ball. Like his time at LSU though, Queen had to wait before getting on the field, but Coach Mistretta loves his perseverance. I tell you, this day and age, everybody wants it right now. Uh, so to have a kid that's willing to wait, willing to put in the time and become better and, and work for what he gets, um, it's refreshing uh, and I'm, I'm really proud of him in that regard. Queen is having a successful season, being third on the team in total tackles, but his parents have one favorite play for the season. The interception. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt, the interception against Alabama. Uh, was, man, it's been so long since we've beaten that team, and just with him making a big play to help him win that game, that was, that was outstanding. Dwayne and Mary Sue hope to see their son bring home a national championship, and they're both grateful to God for his success. Covering LSU football in Ventress for your Go Nation, I'm Jared Joseph.